What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Bash. Playing some Call of Duty Black Ops Domination on Hangar 18. And I'm sure you guys know by now, Hangar 18 is one of the new Annihilation maps. Um, now, this game right here was actually taken from a live stream with my homeboys, Onslaught, Dunkus, and T-Mart. This was Onslaught's live stream. But it seems like almost every night that I get on to play, somebody's live streaming, whether it's, you know, T-Mart, Onslaught, Dunkus, me, Benjro. It's somebody. Somebody's always live streaming. So there's always a live stream to be a part of. And live streams are fun as hell because we get to engage with the you know the viewers, you guys. Uh, we get to talk to you guys. You guys can laugh at us while we rage, while I rage specifically. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? It's a good way for you guys to connect with us. Whenever we need somebody, we usually pull from the audience. Um, so that's like a cool way for you guys to connect with us. And if you want to know when, whenever I'm part of a live stream, because I'm not necessarily always the one live streaming, but I, I am a part of them quite a bit. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash bash lol. There should be a link in the description. Because I always tweet whenever I'm in a live stream. And, um, I mean, also, if you have any questions for me, I mean, I've said this in the past. But if you have questions for me, people always send them to my YouTube. Um, or leave comments in my comments. Like, specific questions to specific things that they want answered. They leave them in the comments. The easiest way for you to get an answer from me is on Twitter. Because it's most convenient for me. Um, I mean, I, I get my tweets on my phone. I can respond quickly. Um, you know what I'm saying? Quick sentences. I can usually get to your answer. So that's probably the best way... For you to get in touch with me and get a response from me um i try to respond to everybody on youtube but that's really difficult and honestly i don't respond to everyone on youtube i'm gonna start not even checking my youtube comments um or not my youtube comments sorry my youtube uh um, messages just because they're starting to get hard to manage and uh youtube doesn't make it easy to manage and it's hard to get back to everyone so you know i might have to just give up on that but man twitter facebook as well facebook.com slash bash lol those are probably the two best ways but Twitter specifically, so if you need to ask me a question or you need a response or you need help with some people always ask me for help when it comes to Macs and ITV and like um, recording with a Hapag on a Mac, you can ask me those questions. I'm more than happy to help if I can, but uh, Twitter is obviously the easiest way, so so get at me on Twitter. But yeah, we were we were playing and um, having quite a, quite a good time. I raged a little bit in this game, but it was a decent game, and this was actually my first game when I had arrived home um, with the map pack. Now, I had played in the morning before I went to work, but this was the first game that I played when I came home, and uh, I did okay, so I figured I'd share with you guys. And it's on Hangar 18, which is one of my favorite maps um, out of the map pack. And that brings me to what I want to talk about. Two things I want to talk about. I briefly want to talk about the FAMAS and the so-called nerf and or changes to the FAMAS that happened. Uh, David Von Der Hart tweeted out what he did to the FAMAS. Generally, whenever there's um, a new patch, uh, you know, Treyarch always leaves patch notes. Most, you know what I'm saying, most game developers, whenever they release a patch, there's always patch notes. Treyarch has never been specific when it comes to the um, to their gun changes. And I was listening, I was actually listening to Woody, because Woody always releases um, the patch note review, so you can kind of check them out at Woody's channel. And um, he made it, I guess he kind of enlightened me on why they do that, because I never realized why. And it was because they want you to really just take the gun for what it's worth, feel the change, not necessarily understand the exact changes, but just understand something's different about the gun, go ahead, play with it, and and figure out whether or not you actually feel a good change, a positive change, or a negative change. You might not know exactly what happened, but you'll know that a change was made. And I think that's a good approach. But when it came to the FAMAS, there has always been a lot of FAMAS, you know what I'm saying, issues. People have always been riding on the FAMAS saying it's overpowered, it's too easy to use. People use it a lot, and I get a lot of slack for using it myself. Um, and I'll tell you guys about why I use that in a second, actually. Um, so I guess Von Der Hart specifically wanted to, you know what I'm saying, talk about the changes that he made. And I, unfortunately, I don't have them on me. would have probably been a good idea to get them on me, but I don't. Um, as I'm running around with this swastika gun, this is definitely not my um, emblem. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. I'm sure I reported the guy after. I think I talked about reporting him. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, the, he, he said specifically the changes that he made. And um, people were worried. I think I was worried. A lot of other people were worried that they would go a little too far because... Oftentimes, when people want to nerf a gun or they want to, you know what I'm saying, make a change to a gun or nerf anything in any type of game, they usually go overboard. For whatever reason, it seems like they always go overboard and they ruin that. You know what I'm saying? Like the Model 1887s, for instance. There was a time when the Model 1887s were on the top of the world and uh, Infinity Ward, when they nerfed them, they nerfed them to like the bottom of the barrel. They were like one of the worst choices in terms of a secondary. So, I mean... It always depends on, I guess, how the, the developer reacts to, to comments and, and complaints. 
I think that, I mean, now, now playing with it, as you guys can see, I still seem to feel just as comfortable as I've always felt. I can't feel a change. I can't feel any difference at all. And I don't know if that's because I'm just comfortable with the FAMAS or if that's because they didn't really make too big changes. I still think that the FAMAS is going to be the MLG, you know, number one gun. I still think it's going to be used as much as it was always used. I still love it as much as I've always loved it. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, now, apparently, there's more idle, like there's more sway, I guess, when you, the recoil has changed. So, it, basically, it takes more shots to kill somebody because less bullets will be on point. I know that was one of the main issues that I heard about. But I still seem to be dropping people just as quickly, and I don't seem to have any problem with it. So, if you guys have noticed anything about the FAMAS, let me know. But personally, I think it's just as powerful as it was. I don't think they changed too much. I'm all for balancing out guns so that they're all on a level playing field. I don't think the FAMAS is on a level playing field, but I mean, I'm all for that. And if Treyarch can do it and they can do it well, then I, I'm down for that. I'm not necessarily, I'm not a fanboy of the FAMAS. I am a fanboy of the FAMAS, but I'm not a fanboy to the point where I'm going to get upset if they nerf it down to, to the same level as other guns. Because I mean, that's cool. That, that brings more variety to the game. But um, personally, I don't see too much of a difference as you guys can see here. But let me know your thoughts on the FAMAS. I definitely want to hear what you guys... You know what you guys have been feeling or your experiences about the FAMAS. I don't think much has changed personally. Um, yeah, let me tell you guys why I use the FAMAS so much. When I play games, I play to win. I'm a competitive person. I like to win. I don't play Call of Duty Black Ops as much as I used to in the past. I barely play. Um, I haven't. I've been in the past month. I haven't even gone through one prestige. So I mean, I'm taking my sweet ass time playing this game. Only time I ever play is to get you guys games. And uh, when I play, I want to play with my comfortable setup. I want to just get get a couple good games in because I don't have as much time as I used to in the past. And I definitely want to get videos to you guys. So that's why I use the FAMAS. I would use the AK-47 as well, but like I said, I haven't even gone through one single prestige. But um, I have finally gotten the AK-47 this weekend, so I will be playing with that more often so you see more gameplays there. And then when I get the Commando and the G-11, you guys will see those as well. So look forward to that. But that's kind of why I use the FAMAS. It's the best choice for me. I'm not going to hinder myself. I do mess around a little bit here and there, but you know, I run around with like you know dual scorpions and stuff like that. But that's just when I'm having a little bit of fun. But uh, yeah, FAMAS for me, man, it's my gun, gets the job done. That was not a freestyle. But I also wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts on the maps, um, which I did in the past. But man, I think this is the best map pack Treyarch has come out with so far. I love Hangar 18, it's a lot of fun. Silo has a lot of um, high vantage points, um, places you gotta look out for. But I think that adds a lot of variety. People have also been comparing it to Quarry for Modern Warfare 2, which I really do see. Um, but uh, I, I like that map as well. It's not my favorite map, but I like it. Drive-in is good. I thought that the little camp spot right in the middle of the movie screen was going to be a problem. It's not a problem at all because it's just so obvious. Um, if you're standing there, you're basically risking yourself. And the Hazard, I like Hazard a lot. I didn't play Cliffside. I didn't play World at War too much, but I think Hazard is a well put together map. There's a lot of narrow points where you can get caught and you know what I'm saying, some serious some serious, uh, I don't know, some issues. You can get some triple, double sprays at least. Um, but yeah, I think they did a good job. I think this is the best map pack. Give me your thoughts on the map pack. And um, let me know, you know, what you guys are feeling about that FAMAS once again. Like I said, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash bashlol, facebook.com slash bashlol. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. And uh, you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll try to get one out tomorrow. And from all my American friends, happy 4th of July. For all my Canadian friends, happy Canada Day, which was on the 1st. See you guys later. Peace out. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I want to let you guys know about. There's a new channel that's opened up. It's called COD Play of Today. They have daily videos, guest feature commentators. It's an awesome way for you guys to submit your videos to a good community channel and get yourself some exposure. So if you have your own channel and you're trying to get a little bit more attention, this is an awesome place to really drive some traffic to your own channel. You should go check it out. It's an awesome way to also support the community because it is a community-driven channel. Um, there should be an annotation on the screen you guys can click. Also, link in the description. Head over there. Tell them Bash sent you, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Take it easy. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.